So maybe wait a little bit before you go through this. This deck is just the Randias. <laughs> we need a we need a Talrand in here. This is the Talrand deck we didn't know we were waiting for. This deck is mostly flash threats, right? Deck is mostly flash threats. Um, Sand team's great, right? We're on the draw, but we have a spell snare on the draw, which is the best possible card to have on the draw. Uh oh, burn. Uh, ship bears. Okay. Our deck full of counter spells is probably not amazing against a deck with Terminate Through Well. It was a Sky Spawner. It was, in fact, a Sky Spawner. You really don't have that many good things to bring in here. Aether Eyes is pretty sweet. I wonder if Aether Spouts would be good in this deck. Iron with the $12 donation. I have your donation page on the home screen of my phone. We'll wish for you a Grixis Grishel Bride list. Sounds good. Piracy Charm does kill Thalia. That's correct. Definitely does that. You should finish whichever one you have more fun playing. Like, personally, I hate Titan Shift. I think that deck's so boring. It's so linear. I'm like, it feels like there's not a ton of play to it. Get out of here. Have a dead thought in the pause while they read Piracy Charm. Welcome to Thunderdome, opponent. Uh, Bogles. Bogles beats both of those decks. I mean, Bogles has linear draws that just kill its opponent on turn four. So, like, <clears throat> I think I'm going to... I'm going to do this and then remand my Piracy Charm, see where we end up at. <laughs> yeah, I agree. There was actually a 5-0 Texas list that... um had a Kiki Jiki in the main deck too, which was really sweet. If I was gonna play Ship Bear's deck, I'd definitely put Kiki Resto in it. That's pretty cheap for a modern deck, right? 660. Feels like it's gonna be cheap for a paper deck. I am gonna play the owl deck in an owl costume. And my wife and the kids are getting owl costumes too, and we're gonna take an owl family picture. That's unfortunate. Yes, definitely. The kids will be out owls for Halloween this year. Well, 
Well, the good news is we can draw Torrential Gearhawk. I think it's better than every card in their deck. So we got that going for us. All right, all right, so, huh. Probably just gonna bounce this and draw a card. We're just like trying to survive to get to, we're trying to survive to get to, uh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> trying to survive to get to, what's it called? Torrential Gear Hulks here. Yep. Yep. That's the plan. Try and survive to get to Gear Hulks. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. Resolves. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Your path to exile resolves. Deal. We started out today with Tron, Bob. We, we do, this is actually a deck that's good against Blood Moon. You're not wrong. Actually a deck that's good against Blood Moon. Really poorly, it was a really bad Tron list. We, we didn't even play the third match. It was just like, nope, off it. All right, all right. All of these get to come in. Hercules Recall is probably fine. Aetherize seems fine. Remands and Mana Leaks out. I think Spell Snare is actually pretty good here. Wow, do I actually just not have that much to cut? All right, maybe the Recall is not good enough. We actually don't have, we just like drew most of our counter spells that game. We didn't get a chance to play Salt Eye Shatter today. We had a bunch of cut the line donations. So I ended up, uh, Ended up having to push that back. Modern staple. Of course it's modern staple. Filigree familiar. What else would it be? What else would it be, chat? Other than modern staple or filigree familiar. I was thinking I wanted to protect my torrential gear hooks from paths, but they might be boarding their paths out. Any piracy charm isn't good enough. I guess it kills it kills Flicker Wisp, Blade Splicer, Thalia. Yeah, piracy charm's probably fine. This helps me visualize my curve a little bit better here. I think I like most of the rest of these cards. This is 12, 17. Maybe I'm supposed to actually trim regular Snapcaster here. Just because like I'm boarding out a bunch of things for it to snap back. I think that's the line. I just cut two of these. Piracy charm for when you really don't want to splash lightning bolts. <laughs> there should. There's probably a strong argument that this deck should just have red lands and red lands and lightning bolts. Yeah, definitely, Bob. That deck was sweet. Yeah, the the restorer. Re wait, recall balance? Which one is that? Are you, the, you meant restore balance, right? Was that a typo? 
If you meant restore balance, definitely. If you meant recall balance, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but probably. We're just gonna blow this up, right? Almost a devastating misclick there. I could just take both of us off a of land here, but that seems really terrible, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just take the Aether Vial out here, I think. We don't have any fetch lands other than this field of rune, so like. I am a pterodactyl with the six month resubscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. F a year. Thanks for sending your fun money this way again this month. Yep. I think we're just gonna get beat down, chat. I think, I think we're about to get beat down. Well, I have, I have some good news, chat. With our powers combined, we can kill this Myriad Crusader. We're gonna get wastelanded, but the Myriad Crusader is now a 6 0. And for those that are wondering why I just did that with the timing that I did it in, opponent's deck plays Restoration Angels, so like, feel pretty obligated to play around that. Through the power of Piracy Charm. No, I have two six mana cards in my hand and a five mana card. I do not want to put myself behind a land. I would much rather have a Field of Rune in play than have them not have a land. You're not wrong, Bob. You're not wrong. I'm gonna be streaming more, but there's only there's only so much I can do. I've just accepted that it grows larger and larger. It's fine. The people that really want to see their things sooner rather than later, they pay extra to see them sooner rather than later. It's a good it's a good system. No, I'm not. I don't accept standard donation lists. There's just so much modern that people want to see, and I'm enjoying modern, so I'm just like not accepting donations for another format. Would love to trade. Thank you. No, not at all. I think it's fine. Um, the the people that donate at the base amount, their lists sit in there for a month, and like I'm upfront about how the system works. So if they are they gonna snap piracy charmy that's cute um you know people people that want to donate more see their things sooner it's a good it's a good system i don't want to discourage people from donating who don't have a ton of money to donate because i know everybody has different finances right and like 12 bucks is manageable for a lot of people and we found a lot of really sweet decks some of the sweetest decks we've played on this stream were just like you know 12 dollar donations so like if we if i like up the price we'd miss some of those really sweet decks Snapcaster, kill your Snapcaster here. <laughs> yeah, other people donate towards other people's decks too, that's true. Well, I mean, like, that's why Modern's so impressive, right? Like, Modern in the donation queue, like, people providing other deck lists is a big, a big tool for not getting burnt out, if we're being honest. Like, there's just so much variety here, right? And, like, it's really easy that, like, if I feel like I'm getting burned out on fair decks, for example, we just, like, switch to playing on fair decks. I just want to draw lands for the rest of this game. Can I just, like, draw land every turn for the rest of this game? We'll probably win, right? Uh, 
Those people aren't assholes, Justin. Those are people that make the make the stream go around. Did I enjoy teaching? Yeah, it was fine. It was okay. I enjoyed at at the very least, I enjoyed teaching a similar amount to what I enjoy enjoy streaming magic, and streaming magic actually makes significantly more money than teaching does at this point. So uh, at any rate, thank you everyone for hanging out here today, speaking of streaming magic. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time streamer here on Twitch now. I stream magic uh, four or five, sometimes even six and seven days a week. Um, every Monday through Wednesday afternoons, I'm going to be here and a couple of mornings in the week as well. Um, if you're enjoying my content and you want to help me produce more of this content, please consider subscribing on Twitch. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com will love to buy and sell some Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags there. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix and you. Anironix would like to remind you to hit that follow button at the very least. It doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when I'm going live and with what. I have an MS, and if teaching made more, I'd teach for sure. However, being a cube rat for a large utility company pays much better. Yep, you're not. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Savage criticism of American education. Yep. Yep. And the depressing part was, like, like my master's is in mathematics, right? Like, they actually pay people with math degrees more to teach a lot of the time than like some of the other subjects because the other subjects have even more people out there than than math that are willing and qualified to teach yeah the soul tight deck did not happen today we ended up having other people donate copious amounts of money to push it down so we'll get to the salt deck on the next stream potentially second twitch baby the stream has gotten even bigger and still no child support all right yeah that seems pretty sweet Hopefully we're not playing in Sather Vile again. Hopefully we're not playing in Sather Vile again. I'm a teacher. How could I be a cube rat? Uh, the Valakut matchup is probably not terrible. We've got four cryptic commands in our deck, right? And eight ways to flash them back. I would like to name the owl, the owl play map to be named Hootie, the Hootie Hoogland play mat. Yep, definitely... Definitely red, green, light, and shift. So do you like math? Were you good at it or both? Yeah, it was a little, little column A, a little column B. I right, so when I originally started going to under, doing undergrad, I um, was gonna major in computer science, but I was like already doing enough development, like stuff as hobby type stuff that like the classes, the first programming class I took was like, why am I paying people to teach me the stuff that I already know? So, and then I took a calculus course and I was like, this is really sweet and solving problems is fun. And I was like, this is stuff that I don't already know how to do. So it was more fun because I didn't already know how to do it. I was like paying, paying people money to teach me things that I already know how to do seems silly. So I decided to get a math degree instead because math was fun and I didn't already know how to do it. Like an actual questions for teachers. It was great. What's your favorite concept slash whatever in the field of mathematics? Um, the topic of my master's project was, um, what's the word I'm searching for? It was uh, graph theory, which is like uh, network or street analysis. Actually, um, like how we pair, how we pair Swiss tournaments is done using graph theory. Ideally, it's done using graph theory. If we're being honest, whoever programmed Watsy's stuff that makes that pairs their tournaments probably didn't use graph theory because they're probably not paid enough to know what that is, but <laughs> there's a lot of neat applications for that. Uh, I student taught at a high school for a semester, and then after having the experience of student teaching in a high school for a semester, I noped right the fuck out of there. And then I was adjunct faculty at several different uh, colleges in central Illinois for a while. I don't have another ramp spell. That's good for us. So we're looking for a field of rune here so we can kill this Valakut. Cryptic command. I don't think I can get rid of that one, though. Yeah, Graph Theory is great. You do a lot of sweet things with it. The shade is real. <laughs> we are unfortunately one land off of getting to emerge the Elder Deep Fiend on my Snapcaster Mage here. 
Is my graph theory piece publicly available? Um, I don't think it is. I don't think I ever published it anywhere. It's on my Dropbox. It's on my Dropbox. I definitely still have it. Yep. So long, snappy, my old friend. Do 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 do. Yeah, this is fine, right? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and remand the uh, remand the Titan here. Seriously? All right, so what you have to realize, Chad, is sometimes, sometimes they want it way more than you do. And it's, it's okay to lose the matches in a format like Modern where they showed up and they decided, you know what? The last time I played at FNM, I got fucking remanded out of the game, so fuck those counter spells. I'm gonna summon her strap, people. It's okay to lose those games. Really, it is. I promise. Just like right click, concede, match, just move on to your next one. I mean, we most certainly activated their trap card. You are not wrong. Their trap card was thoroughly, thoroughly activated. I feel like I am quickly coming to the realization that this is just bad Blue Moon. I, I remanded a Primeval Titan and got Summoners Trapped. I remanded a Primeval Titans and got Summoners trapped. No, they, they put a Titan into play. Yeah, they just float during the upkeep. They float the mana. You're saying, can I tap them out before they pay for the Summoners pack? That's not how that works. This is, this is in fact, seems to be a really bad Blue Moon. Yeah, man. When you when you're ready to get someone, and you're getting and you're getting technology pays off, you're just like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got him, we got him. Oh yeah, there there's there's just no way we're ever beating we're ever beating that deck. They just wanted it way more than we did. I wanted to play it because it looks sweet, Justin. It looks sweet on paper. Honestly, seeing this deck list makes me think that um, a more aggressive or like heavy gear Hulk slash Elder Deep Fiend Blue Moon list could really be sweet, right? Like, there's no reason we can't splash red and play lightning bolts in this deck. Just like play a similar creature base, just like not have shit cards like Piracy Charm in our deck. Yeah, the, the Ghost and the Fry's emo came out really well. The Piracy Charm is gas. This is tough. I really need lands, but Spell Snare is very good in the burn matchup. And since I have this Snapcaster in my hand, I think I'm just gonna hope to draw some lands here. I mean, that, that kinda counts. No, this deck is basically using Piracy Charm to kill one defense creatures. It gives something plus two minus one, so you can use it to kill things that, that people play out early. Mana creatures, opposing Snapcaster mages, Vendi clicks, uh, Thalia, stuff like that. It's using it as a bad lightning bolt primarily.
So we're taking six there. We are mostly dead. And see, like, if this was a lightning bolt and I had red mana, we just could take the Swiss Spear off the table. Probably still not winning, but, you know, things to think about. It is not playing Eldrazi Temples. I mean, like, when you get to chain a bunch of them together, it's really pretty awesome. I'm not double blocking here because they have a spell. We're probably losing the game anyways. Yep. Nope. Can only stack a single creature to emerge. This matchup we got cards for. We've got some filgrees. We've got some dispels. We've got some negates. We've got a spell skite. Uh, piracy charm doesn't kill anything. Dismember costs way too much health. Um, this many gear hulks is probably too many. Remand is pretty terrible. I don't think this is a ratchet bomb matchup. Maybe this deck has few enough ways to kill things that it's a ratchet bomb matchup. Could be that we have few enough ways to kill things that it's a ratchet bomb matchup. Nah, let's just run it. Uh, we have 24 lands and 4 ups. Yeah, yeah, that's an interesting idea too. I really liked uh, Elder Deep Fiend and Sanctum of Ugans in, in Modern, or sorry, in Standard. That, that Bant Tempo deck that I had at the end of that Standard season, last time I really played Standard, I really enjoyed that deck. It was a lot of fun, had a lot of play to it. The uh, Baral's Expertise Tamiyo deck. Ratchet Bomb on 1 is just really slow. I guess it's like okay on the play. Sounds decent. It's hard to pass up Phil Green and Dispel here. I don't think I have, Justin. No, no, definitely not. That that one that one kind of fell out of favor for the Grishel brand archetype. I haven't seen that one in a while. Goblin Guide's going to get some good hits in here. Mana Leak's an excellent pickup. Thank you, Little Guide, for propelling me to that. Look all, uh, look, all I'm saying is the fact that this deck posted a 5-0 is just a testament to literally anything can 5-0 in Modern, right? Just like do whatever you want, play enough matches, you're going to eventually... And this is why Wizards of the Coast hiding data makes their formats look better than it is. Like, how many leagues do you think the person that played this deck failed to cash? Or, like, went 3-2 in? Like, what do you what do you think their win record is with this deck overall? If Wizards of the Coast published all of the data about a given format, we'd be able to know, like, was this 5-0 an anomaly? Or, or is it something they're doing consistently? Do I want to trade this familiar for the Goblin Guide? I don't think that I do. I think because I have this EDF, I just want to take the hit, right? Pretty sure that's the case. We'll just gobble their Goblin Guide up inside of combat next turn. I switched to Lantern like a good player. Uh, I think this is going to be my last one for the night. It's tough to... It's tough to fire up another one with only an out less than an hour left. I think if we get killed again here, I'm going to play... Actually, Jeff 20 minutes ago was very smart. Jeff 20 minutes ago, he joined a friendly league with this deck. I don't think Wizards of the Coast makes it artificially diverse. Like... 
Modern Modern is a gen genuinely genuinely diverse format. Like you look at the top eight, like the top eight of the last Grand Prix didn't have eight decks in it by mistake, right? Like the top thirty-two, like there were probably sixteen or more deck lists in the top thirty-two. Like the Modern is actually a diverse format. There are lots of different strategies that are it's it's the most diverse TCG format I've ever played in, probably out of any TCG ever. Like the fact that we don't have all of the data doesn't mean like like the Pro Tour we have we had all the data for something like the Pro Tour we we still like had a diverse field there like the Pro Tour results indicated that the field was diverse among some of the best players in the world with all of the data. We're on the play with double remand. God bless. If we don't if we don't win this one, there's no hope. There's actually people people that want um where is it? Where's the other one? Elder Deep. This one. This deck has actually five owed multiple leagues. I don't know how much I don't know what their failure rate is, but this deck has five owed multiple leagues. It's a blue black Eldrazi deck with four Elder Deep Fiend in the main. It's one it's a serum powder deck with Chalice of the Void. Um this deck has multiple five O's. And I think it top 32 would one of the challenge events, but like if you're looking for an Elder Deep Fiend deck, this this might be a place to start. There was also, um, we have it in the donation queue. Um, there was a, a blue green Eldrazi deck that did pretty well recently too that I think that had, I think this had Elder Deep Fiend in it. Yeah, this deck, this deck had Elder Deep Fiend in it too. This was, this deck uh, did well at an open recently. And it had four Elder Deep Fiends as well. So, And this deck's at the top of the donation queue. So the next time we play Modern, we're probably going to be playing that on stream. So there are two... There are multiple other, other Elder Deep Fiend decks that are probably better than this one. Because this deck does not seem very good. We have Double Remand versus Living End. Let's draw some lands, please. Please. Ding. Fries are done. Yeah, I agree, P. Dead. I think Deep Fiend. I don't even know if you necessarily want Moons with it, but like, um, because you could play like Sanctums and uh, Eldrazi Temples potentially. Yes, Iron. Yes, Iron. If you message me, message me your collected company list, and I will be happy to switch that. Message me your collected company list, and I'll be happy to switch that. I will. I will click through devoted company for you since I since since the dredge deck's been wallowing. I don't, I don't think that's true, Ha7. I ge genuinely don't think that's true. We definitely know that decks like Burn and Jund are a little bit better than a lot of the other decks in the format, but I think you're underestimating people's desire to, one, play their own decks, and two, um, you're underestimating their, their desire to want to pivot and change to other things. Finally learned how this Twitch thing works. I only started using Twitch to watch your stream. Put this towards the following stream, please. Thank you for the big giant shaky shamrock there, Odin. I appreciate that. 770 towards towards the owl stream. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and field of rune them off of their red mana, I think. And then we'll reman this Fulminator Mage. Like... Even in a format like Legacy, where the power level between Grixis Delver and the next best deck is very disparaging, especially in comparison to like modern power levels, like people still play decks that aren't Grixis Delver. Sorry. 
So next turn, we can Cryptic Command this Fulminator Mage if they replay it. Although if I miss a land drop here, I kind of want to opt now. It's pretty appealing to opt. Yeah, especially since I have a Mana Leak for Fulminator Mage now. Just looking for a land. <laughs> Need to draw a land, draw six drop. Yep. Need to draw a land, draw six drop. Yeah, Grixis. Grixis Delver is much better than every other decade in Legacy. So, it's Mana Leak this. If they go untapped land, Simeon Spirit Guide, Violent Outburst, we're going to be really sad here, but I think it was right to opt there and try and find another land. We just like have all these expensive cards in our hand. They have untapped land double violent outburst. They get to play through our counter magic here, but we're definitely leading on cryptic command, so we need to draw need to draw cards. Try and find some lands. You're just gonna start hard casting. Suspend living end. Yep. Yep. I'm just gonna grab an island out of my deck here so I can have more blue sources. Ding. You don't think I can lose? I don't think that's true. I think my opponent could definitely set up a turn where they go for it twice. Like, I also have to, like, kill my opponent at some point here. I don't really have ways to put pressure into play. They usually only have three living ends, though, so that's good for us. We really want to draw, like, a Snapcaster Mage, right? They could also, you know, just start casting their shit. Yes. These cards are definitely coming out here. We've got uh, negates and dispels in our sideboard. Yep, just just like that. Just start hard casting their stuff. Ding. No, living into zero two mana spells. Otherwise, they'd cascade into it. So we don't run any processors, right? So that comes off next turn. I was gonna dismember this, right? Yeah, this is our this is our last league of the night, Chris. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are gonna be longer streams. No, probably not. Maze Zen doesn't sound like it's terribly competitive. So, like, we'll Cryptic Command, the Living End here, and then it, hopefully they only have one Cascade card and we'll get to Remand the one they Cascade into. Serum Powder lets you mulligan more, which I know that's like, sounds silly, right? But like, that's what it does. Like, on a deck that wants very specific cards in its opening hand, being able to mulligan more aggressively is very good. You also, with Serum Powder, get to exile the, the three cost Eldrazi card that you can cast from exile. Yeah, some of your cards can be cast from exile. So it, it lets you find Eldrazi temples in your opener more often because you can mulligan more at a lower cost. Allows you to mull to eight. Yep, that's a good way to put it. Beast within. <sighs> yep. All right, if they have a cascade card, we're dead. So this is gonna seem counterintuitive here. 
but I'm going to counter their living end and bounce my beast. And the reason why I'm countering the living end and bouncing my beast is because um, my opponent's deck, four of their four of their uh, cascade cards are demonic dread, which require a creature in play in order to cast. It says target creature can't block, so if there's not a creature in play, they can't cast demonic dread. So by bouncing this beast token, I cut my opponent off half of their cascade cards. And they could still have Violent Outburst, and they could have a creature that they could play plus cast Demonic Dread in the same turn, but I think it's correct to bounce the beast here to cut them off of half of them. Yeah, Demonic Dread is a sorcery too. That is correct. Actually, because they played this land here, if they cast a creature, I'm going to Piracy Charm them in response. So that way they have to discard... Oh, nope, just dead. All right, we tried. We tried. All right. Yeah, this this deck's really bad. Um, I guess I guess we'll finish this match because this match matchup's probably not terrible for us. But this deck is like bad blue moon. It's like bad a lot of things actually. I'm bored of these filigree familiars. I guess these piracy charms don't do much. I guess aetherize is pretty funny. I would piracy charm them in response to a creature being cast. I didn't don't I wanted to play this deck. This wasn't something someone else sent me. This is a deck that posted a 5-0 that I was like, this deck looks really sweet. I'd like to play this. This was I did this one to myself, and then Justin Justin enabled me because he's a good enabler. I appreciate Justin enabling me. We have to spend Justin's money to play this instead of my own. God bless all y'all that enable me. Magic's a lot more fun to play on other people's dollar. It's easier to stay stay chipper and play through the beatings. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I have another? At least I didn't pay for this myself. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to need to buy Magic Online tickets here soon. Where are we down to? I've got 44 tickets. I've got 10 chesties. All right, we're probably okay for a little while. We're getting close, though. We're getting close, though. Getting close. Is Aetherize viable in Owling? I thought about it. I've definitely, like, taken it in and out of my sideboard a couple of times. Dispel for Beast and Trap. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Dispel you should get in here. I should cut something. I'll cut this batter skill. I don't think Aetherize is that bad. Aetherize, um, because our deck is mostly basic land, like we can we can survive them like they, they can't really fulminator mage us out of the game, which means we can survive them like resolving their living in and aetherizing their stuff back to their hand. Yeah, you're not wrong, Chris. We need to I need to go through the donation queue and pull out all the decks that are close to tier one. There's, there's a few in here that are like very reasonable deck lists. We're gonna have to dig down in there and play some of the decks that look a little bit more. Like the Salt Eye Shadow deck that we didn't get to today, that's probably actually a deck that's pretty good. Wait, it's stuck at zero. Does that mean they have my magic online? Hello, Moto, are you still there? Hello, Moto, my old friend. All right, let me reconnect. Here's the real question. Did it let me sideboard? Is it gonna let me reconnect fully? Maybe, thinking about it. 
It did let me sideboard. God bless. What's the back? The background is just random Windows 10 flowers. I haven't moved my nice backgrounds over from Linux. I really should. I've been using more Windows than Linux these days. You can actually change your Twitch name. I think you can change it like once every 60 days or something that's not taken. Nah, I think Colorless Land's coming a premium in the in the uh, the Howling Mine deck. Okay, I think my opponent's just disconnected and it was lagging because they were disconnected maybe. All right, Jeff and Chat, you're my co-pilots for my trip home in the snow. Entertain me. Pay attention to what you're doing. Drive safely, Bardic. You're catching us right at the tail end here. I don't know if we're going to be on for your whole, whole drive, but that's probably a good thing. It's probably a good thing. Driving in the snow is dangerous. Don't get, don't get dead over there. Don't get dead. What is that fox doing here? You... You emerge, the fox is emerging. It's an emerging fox and emerging, emerging fields. Glad to see the stream goes. It, it, it is in fact getting smashed, chat. I should have done this at the end of turn. I'm not paying attention. I don't know, I'm kind of checked out. I, I should probably focus. I, this, this is probably a pretty winnable matchup for us. The Sultai list is on Twitter. I, this deck looks sweet, okay? Stop it, I, look, I love this card too much. This card is sweet, look. One of my weaknesses in TCGs is shitty flash decks. It's shitty flash decks, so this is, this, this def, every time anything close to resembling a shitty flash deck pops up somewhere, I'm like, that I need to try. The Zoltai list is also in the donation queue for those that are new to the stream. Exclamation point donation queue. Play a line of anticipation deck. I think I'm just sitting on these. Um, if I make it to five lands, we'll probably play this holding the gate up. Cryptic command, God bless. Yep. I wonder if the Snapcaster Mage can do the full 20. I feel, I feel like he's gearing up for it. Just like the full, just r run the whole distance, little Snapcaster. I, I believe in you. You are, you, you can do it. Spire Golem plus EDF. God bless. There was actually a really sweet, um, Tassiger plus, it was a Tassiger Eldritch Evolution Gorio's Vengeance Necrotic Ooze deck, where the list was on my Twitter. It's so, it's really cool. It's another, another one that 5 that I'm sure is a steaming pile. Like, after playing this deck, I'm sure this is also a steaming pile, but like this, that, that is just, those are, those are the decks you live for, right? Those are the decks that you're like, this, this makes me want to play Magic the Gathering. This makes me want to play Magic the Gathering. 
All right. So I'm going to teach you a little trick here, chat. I'm going to teach you a little trick here. The opponent shocked in a land tier. What our opponent likely has is Ricochet Trap. So what we're going to do is we're going to counter a spell, this spell, and we're going to return this Black Cleave Cliffs to their hand because Ricochet Trap can only redirect cards that have a single target. So because this Cryptic Command has two targets, they can't Ricochet Trap it. Whereas if I counter draw, they could Ricochet Trap my Cryptic Command. So get out of here. Get out of here. Use your Cryptic Commands accordingly. Read the room, get a feel for what cards they're playing. And this is like one of those things where it's just like you gain small percentage points in a format like Modern by one, understanding the rules of the game and two knowing cards that your opponent is likely to be playing in their deck list like we haven't seen a ricochet trap out of our opponent yet right but like that's a card that these decks traditionally play to beat counter magic consults the gather as to why his trap won't work right no the, no, the trap's active because I cast a blue instant. They just can't target my cryptic command with the trap. They're, they're like messaging an orc or their judge friend right now. I, I think Mono's bugged. I can't, I can't trap their cryptic command. I just, look, we've become somewhat of an expert in trap cards here recently on stream. Hey, Tron Corlone with that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. Thanks for sending your Amazon fun money this way this month. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. All the EDF decks. Eldrazi Ninjas. Ninja of the Deep Hour Thought Knots here is really funny. Mistblade Shinobi. That's fucking hilarious. My opponent just complained in chat that the ricochet trap is bugged and I was explaining to them that it's not bugged. This is how Magic the Gathering works. <laughs> uh... Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for taking the time to link those up there. They just said, how hard can it be to fix Ricochet Trap? I said, it isn't bugged. You can't target a card with multiple card targets with Trap. That's why I bounced. How do you donate on mobile? You can donate on mobile using this link. This link right there, Butterfly. Thank you for that. This makes the XO League worth it. It really does. We're gonna, we're gonna win this match, chat. We're gonna do our best, we're gonna win this match. The Snapcaster is going Apparently, my opponent's informing me that they file for comp because of Ricochet Trap constantly. Apparently, this is something that they file for comp for all the time. Jeff acknowledged that I made the correct name change. Oh no, Justin, I think that resets all your counts on my thing, though. I don't remember. It's okay, you're still Justin the Enabler in my heart. Well, this is a friendly league, Iron. So if, if I win this match, I do actually get a prize. I do actually get a prize if I win this match, so...
I, I was smart enough to not join a competitive league with this deck, okay? No, you don't need to resub. I just, uh, things that like count like the top cheer amounts underneath the stream. Although I guess you don't cheer, you mostly donate manually, so you're fine. You're fine. Never friendly leagues by decks, please, will do. There's there's really no difference in the t level of competition on Magic Online between friendly and competitive leagues. All right, so I'm gonna upkeep EDF them if they violent. Actually, so this is actually a really funny interaction. I'm gonna upkeep EDF them, and so if they violent outburst me in response to this EDF um they'll they'll living end but casting this when it comes off suspend isn't optional for my opponent which means they'll have to recast this next turn so they really don't want to they really don't want to uh cascade this turn because this living end is suspended Nah. Oh, shit. Did I not target four things? I forgot to target a fourth thing. It's late. I'm playing loose. Butterfly, thank you for the $1 donation. I appreciate that. God, this stupid arrow thing. This stupid arrow shake. I need to disable it. I don't know what Theros Islands look like. Maybe? Maybe? I should have. I should have tapped this. So if I, they play a four mana spell here, it's my fault. This should be tapped too. Like, we've literally had leagues where... Um, what's the word I'm searching for? Like, are they going to kill their own land with these Fulminator Mages? That'd be really funny. Um, like, one league... Like, a competitive league we play against three jank decks, and then a friendly league we play against three tier one decks in a row. I shouldn't have... Nah, the attack there is fine. The attack there is fine, right? I'm going to go ahead and negate this and then get to dispel the ricochet trap. Our public education system has failed. Has failed another considering the opponent can't read their own cards. Ricochet trap dude had me rolling. All right, so they need two traps here, right? There's a resub. Oh, Fury the Squirrel. You're right, Fury... Fury us squirrel. Thank you for the four month three sub. Sorry, I am um, need to be more into it. Maybe I need to aim to end these about nine o'clock instead of ten. Seven seven hour streams might be pushing myself a little bit too much if I'm doing them every day. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Third of a year. It's a while. Thanks for sticking it out. Oh, you know what? I I should have EDF'd my EDF here to keep them off of lands to Cascade. I could have taken them off of these. So, like, if they hit a Cascade card here, I could have prevented that. All right, on to game three. I think even if we win this, I'm going to be done for the night. This deck's kind of miserable. This deck's kind of bad. I'm kind of out of it. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out through the end. I do appreciate it. Remember, if you didn't catch all of today's stream, I'll get published them all on YouTube here. But Charlie played a bunch of sweet decks today. I'll get this one uploading and then hit publish on a bunch of the ones that are already there. Yeah, I agree, look, no numbers. 
And we're going to play, there's a Bant deck, or a green, straight green blue deck, Eldrazi deck, actually at the top of the queue. So we'll probably start on that tomorrow. And there's also a blue-black version that maybe we'll play at some point if we get time. Um, the filter doesn't work, Population Zero. You have to just manually scroll through. If you filter it, it filters to old data. Look at the dates on the decks that it's filtered to. This is pretty terrible, right? Just like no counter spells. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get to that tomorrow, Justin. Maybe maybe Thursday or Friday morning. I don't know, because I, I have an article due tomorrow, which means I'm probably not gonna have time to sit down and build a deck list before tomorrow's stream. I need to finish my article out tomorrow morning. You can hype it for a couple of weeks. Yes, we could definitely do it a couple of weeks out. If you want it to be later, that would be better for me so I could have time to build it. Those are beautiful. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Those are fantastic. My favorite islands I used for a long time in paper there's a time spiral island with lightning in the background that's super awesome, but like most foils, my foil islands ended up curling and then I just couldn't use them with the rest of my non-foil decks. Yes, yes. I, I will be hard pressed to pass up any donation deck list that involves four Restoration Angels. I... I do thoroughly enjoy me some Restoration Angels. We actually, okay, Aetherize is a card that could allow us to win after the combo. We're actually really not gonna be able to stop them from comboing this game, right? At least not if they do it quickly. They might be conservative and just not try and combo into me holding up two and three mana. The time, the time Spiral Island is fantastic. If you haven't seen it before, it looks awesome in foil. The lightning bolt shines too. I'm actually really not a fan of the Unstable Lands. The the lands I, I play in paper, I have like a dozen of each of the, uh, what's it called? I have a dozen of uh, un unglued lands. Those are the ones I like. The unhinged lands, the lack of a border on them makes them feel not like magic cards to me. How we do with Teamer Kiki? We ran the 0-2 into a 3-2. So just still still have successfully cashed every league we played with the deck. Great. Well, we made it. I would love a remand. I just realized that I can actually play the Sky Spawner this turn because it makes an Eldrazi Scion, which means I can play this and still have Remand up, which is great. My commander deck runs all foil unstable islands. That doesn't surprise me. Which which link where butterfly? Is it a link on my on my website? If it's on my Jeff Hoagland page, that's my link, that's a mistake. Which which link where?
it's really bad, JW. We are um, 0-3 in this league. I think we're going to win this match. We're definitely a little bit ahead here, but it's not, it's not good. It's not a good seed. Can I counter this and draw a card? Watch me like pitch two spirit guides and cast violent outburst here. It'd be real bad for us. Or land spirit guide violent outburst. It's a good hit. And it, it is, in fact, an Aetherize in our hands. Because sometimes your mono blue deck just doesn't have a lot of sideboard options. Maybe I should have sacrificed the Scion to play this Sky Spawner, so that way I could have held Remand plus Dispel up here. That's probably what should have happened. Yeah, I think that's what should have happened. So like now if they have Cascade Spell plus Ricochet Trap, they get to get us. Whereas like if I had one less power, it's not that big of a deal. Like they're only at eight. I could have attacked them for three and then flashed in a Snapcaster Mage. So yeah, I definitely think I made a mistake here. I should have uh should have played around a Ricochet Trap by putting myself down an Eldrazi Scion. So if they trap us here, I deserve that. That being said, they don't actually have, yeah. They don't have, um, wait, did they, no, nope, yep. So Reman's gonna go away here. Um, this resolves, um, they get to kill this, but I'm gonna get to Aetherize them, right? Like they don't have any, Peace, Chris. Catch you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I have no idea on that. That's definitely far outside of my, my pay grade. Nice hand. Nice hand you got there, opponent. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet hand you got. Pretty sweet hand over there. They also have two minutes on their clock. They're down 12 minutes. What a slow, terrible death. Can't ricochet trap Aetherize filing for compensation, right? Yes, should have changed the remand target to Violent Outburst. You are correct. Wonder if I can just time them out. They have a minute and 20 seconds left. <laughs> I wasted this time in my life for 12, for 10 play points. Our, our first match win takes us from 10 play points to 20 play points in this league. I mean, that's a fog, right? 
Play my dog out. Go. See, like this. Like, they're timing out. Why aren't they auto passing? Like, they don't possibly have anything to do on my turn, right? Like, they've lost another 10 seconds here, and they only have a minute and 10 seconds left. Manage, manage your clock, people. Manage, manage your clock. <laughs> I just really wish um, clocks and paper worked like they do on Magic Online because, like, I hate drawing and drawing, like... I don't draw because I play quickly in paper. So it's nice that like when I play against someone who play like when I play against someone who plays slowly in paper, they just get to take extra time because I play quickly. Whereas like when I play against someone who plays slowly on Magic Online, it's just like haha, middle fingers to the sky, you cannot win. Stack block. Now nah, I'm just gonna snap aetherize them, make them make them flip their computer into the thing. Yep. They wasted my time. That is exactly how I feel about it. I'm probably not even gonna need to snap aetherize. We're just gonna time out here. <laughs> All right, we want one in three. Um, pretty sure this deck is just bad. Imp the person that 5 would with this deck must must have either played it a lot or be a very skilled magician because the deck just feels really awkward and clunky. I don't... I feel like the only reason why... If you wanted to play a deck like this, I feel like the only reason why you wouldn't play red cards in it is because you were on some kind of deck building challenge or dare or bet or something. So, like, I don't understand why... why you wouldn't just, like, put lightning bolts in your deck instead of playing... instead of playing Piracy Charm. Uh, at any rate, I'm going to be off for the night, folks. Remember, if you didn't catch all the stream today, we went for a little over seven hours here. Um, catch my YouTube channel. I'm going to go hit publish on a bunch of videos from earlier today. And if you missed this mess and all of its glory, these are going to get uploading and processing, and they'll be live probably about 45 minutes or so from now. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I appreciate you sticking through. Big shout-outs to Project Swamp and Justin the Enabler for uh, very generous donations and cheers today. So I really, really appreciate that. And uh, thank you, as always, to my subs and resubs. Y'all rock as well. You allow me to keep doing what I do as often as I do it, and I'll uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow.